Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and within this video, I'm going to show up close, step by step, how to replace the blade on a uh, on a Works Nitro mower. And you can expand this video's description, and then click the link there to find the blade like I'm using, also the mower like I'm using. Now I did call a local lawnmower lawnmower repair shop prior to. Uh, prior to moving forward with purchasing a blade replacement. The good thing is these weren't expensive. Again, you can find them linked within this video's description, so it wasn't a huge expense. But I called and I said, hey man, do y'all replace, do y'all repair lawnmower blades? And they're like, no, they, you, they can't repair a blade. They could sharpen a blade, but not repair it. So what happened, I hit a rock and it bent my blade that I'm about to remove. So. Let's go ahead and get started here. Safety is paramount. The first thing I want to do is check to ensure that no batteries are inserted. There's no batteries in there. But as a secondary safety check, what I'm going to do is push this and pull this down as if I was going to start the mower. It did not start. No batteries in there. And even though there aren't batteries in there, I tried to start it anyway just to make sure there somehow wasn't a charge in there. So now what we're going to do is gently tilt this on its side. And I'm going to move the camera closer so y'all can see this up close. You notice I'm in the grass. The reason is I don't want to scratch up this beautiful lawnmower. So let's go ahead and get the camera close and we're going to swap this blade out. I'll show you how easy it is. So again, we've performed our safety check. We've made sure there aren't any batteries installed and that the mower will not start since there are no batteries installed, which is what we want. So we're safe here. Uh, we're gonna find a socket that fits this right here. Okay, something I would encourage you to do, and this is optional, but I would take a uh, photo of how it looks right now and there's several reasons for this I'm taking a photo there so I can see with the factory blade inserted how tightly that's secured because I don't want to over tighten but I don't want to think that oh man I didn't tighten it enough so I took a photo of that so I can see exactly how it is before removing the bent blade now this blade is sharp it's a blade so you probably want to have some uh, some cut resistant gloves on and I probably should put some on so I'm gonna actually do that I'm gonna squish these in case there are brown recluse spiders in there man it's pretty good okay so I got my glove on so now okay I gotta adjust this so it'll loosen You gotta take this blade off where you can put your other blade on, man. Okay, so this actually works. I had a thick toed shoe and I kind of put it there so I could get that to get my nut off. And if you're doing this over grass like I am, pay attention. You don't want to lose your nut. So now you can see this right here. That lifts out. But even though it lifts out, this piece lifts off. So I'm going to stick this here in the same orientation. I'm going to put my nut right there. This is the bent blade, and I don't know how well you can notice it, but this part over here is severely bent. The reason I noticed it was bent, aside from visually inspecting it, is that when I started it back up, it had a different sound and feel. You get to know the feel of your works lawnmower. So that, I will wrap it up securely and put it in the trash to discard. Or maybe I'll recycle it. You know, that's got metal in it, man. I can make a few bucks. That's what I'll do. Um, 
And then this is the new blade. Again, sharp, be careful. Well, the, the packaging is also sharp. I hate this packaging. But I had to get a blade, and this is how it came packaged. So, There we go. Okay, so the same orientation, and you'll notice this says grass side grass side so this is going to face down towards the grass so that's important to note you will stick this piece as we mentioned the one we removed and it was important I've left it in that same orientation you'll notice there's one piece that's kind of a half circle there's the other piece that's a circle you see this pattern there's the half circle on this side the circle on that side so the half circle has to go where the half circle is here. So it's it's only one direction it'll go in. So now you've got that in. Now this says grass side, meaning that it's gonna to face towards the grass. This also has a notched area. It's a circle, but there's a, there's, I mean, a flat area. So what you're gonna do is identify here, there's the flat side. So you're gonna stick the flat side where the flat side is there. Now that's in. Now you're gonna get your nut on. Grab your nut with your fingers and tighten it with your fingers. And now we're gonna do the same technique that I did earlier, except we're gonna reverse our socket to tighten. I'm gonna to go to the non-sharp side and stick my foot there. Definitely something you want to get tight. You don't want your blade falling off. It could be a safety hazard. I mean, seriously, a catastrophic. Catastrophic. So, now I'm gonna do a quality check why I took my photo earlier looks like I put on just a little bit tighter So see, that's why I took my photo earlier. Appears to be the same tightness. Now, the true test will be, like I said, to discard this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it to a scrap yard and try to get some money. But uh, I'll put this in this packaging and then I can take that to a scrap yard, try to make a buck or two without turning it on or anything, I'm just performing a quality check here. It's nice that this blade has those clips like that, so there's only one direction that it can attach. To recap, the main thing too is making sure this grass side faces down. So, yeah, that's, that's on, and that photo that I took, as crazy as it sounds, that photo, was important because had I not taken that photo, I would wonder if I need to screw it in more. But I screwed it, screwed it in exactly as much as it was, um, you know, with the original blade that, that came with it. So let's go ahead and start this sucker up and see if it works. So let's go ahead and start this sucker up and see if it works. <laughs> Get it? Works. 
Okay, so let's put our batteries in. These are charged. As good as new. Actually, maybe even better than new because I replaced the blade myself. I know exactly what it looked like because I inspected it, installed it, and now I've got a perfectly functional lawnmower. My failure, I hit a rock. Always inspect your yard for rocks prior to mowing. It was the start of the season. I failed to do my due diligence. I failed to thoroughly inspect the lawn in the leafy areas and there was a rock that I didn't see and I bent my blade. But the product of me bending my blade prompted me to film this video for y'all. So if this video helped, be sure to like this video. If you're shopping for the mower like I use, the replacement blade like I use, expand this video's description and click the link there. Choosing to shop my links is deeply appreciated. Also, if this video made you feel just really, really, really good about yourself, feel free to send me a super thanks. And you can look down below this video, there's a little button that says thanks. Not required, completely optional. But if you choose to do so, sending me a super thanks is a great way to support tutorial videos like this one. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have fun mowing your grass, man. I love it. I'm losing weight, burning fat, and that's what matters. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.